guys, what's up? It's me, Sims Level 33 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. Uh, so yeah, as I said in the last part, we're gonna explore the crazy, awesome, you know, towns. You know, some games have you know like boring towns with you know just talk to a bunch of people. But in this town, we'll, we'll, we'll let's just see. As you can see, there's four spots. Click on one of these spots. So go to the Flower Street. Oh, hello. Say, did you feel that tremor? Good thing my house is okay. Since the earthquake, the whole world, the whole town has turned upside down. Hmm. I don't know anything about you. Only that I've never seen you before. Sorry, all I know is that I don't know you. I can't help you. But I bet the priest can. He knows everything. Though he has been pre uh, preoccupied lately. Something's on his mind. Maybe you can help him out too. Yeah, you literally... Literally, all you do is click on a freaking like little person square thing and you talk and you go to that place and you talk to them. It's really dumb and it's boring and it's, you know you don't really care at all. I don't think I've ever seen someone play this game who actually stops and reads what everyone is saying because it's so boring and it doesn't involve any characters that are cool. They're just like boring stupid humans that never get mentioned again. So yeah. It's also like control, like how you move is so weird. Like, look, this is what happens when I push down Flower Street to Cafe Terrace, then there, then there. That's. It just goes to the one that's like. Even if it's like way more up than it is left, if you push left, it will go there because it's the closest one left to it. It's annoying. But you don't really mind because it's just. You know, it's just a town. It's not that hard to. It doesn't matter if you can't find it, like, you know, you accidentally waste half a second going the other way. Go Bell Square. Never seen you bugs around here before. Are you travelers? Huh. Do I know this little fellow? No, I can't say I do. Don't think we've met before. That guy's name, that guy's name was Eric. Ah. That's what Eric for, but he's old. Ah. No one's around here. Let's head back, Sonic. Like how interesting. I know in the uh, the HD versions of this game, it's uh, there's actually like a town where you can talk to people and they have like missions and stuff. But see, you see later in the game, there's like cutscenes that happen just out of nowhere randomly. But in the the other version, you know, you can you uh you like go to the certain part of the town or something. So it's a little weird how that works. Windmill Coast Street. Hello, good pilgrims. What brings you here? Do I know this fine young gentleman? A uh, scholar that I am. I must admit I do not. My thoughts are filled with the shrine. What is the shrine? It is a sacred place famous among travelers. Since the great tremor, all manner of strange innocence have incidents have occurred. We have fewer terrorists than I fear our town may come to ruin. You have come all this way. May I direct you to our holy shrine? Way hey, too busy for that. Sure, which way? The shrine is on the edge of town. You cannot go deep inside, but enjoy. <laughs> you can't really do much in it, but just, just go to it. The so, sacred shrine. There's one of these in every town. Yes, there are a lot of towns in this game, by the way. Uh, there's something I forgot to tell you. I came across this when I'm walking in, so I picked it up. Looks like some kind of metal with a symbol on a blazing sun on it. I really like it myself, but it might be of use to you. So I want you to have it. Oh, sun tablet. What's this? Yeah, the, there's a shrine in every uh, town. And... Um... Yeah, the shrine in every town. And these are basically... The things. Uh, this place is yeah. Kind of spooky. God is spooky. Oh, yeah, that's good. The, the, yeah. Uh, these are what allow you to enter. These allow you to enter different levels in the game. Basically, each town is a level. Uh, so. Chip is just. I hate him. I hate Chip. Just saying. Yeah, these, these doors on the side with the sun and moon on, you need a certain amount of, of metal to go in those. And... 
Uh, we can't do those yet. Those are just kind of little side quest things. Main levels are through these doors. So we'll see what the moon levels are like later, but for the sun levels, let's just go straight in. We're loading, we're loading, because we have nothing better to do than load. Alright. So I know right when it says go, you can press X and get a boost. Where you get a little bit of a... Get a little, yeah, a little bit of a energy. Gauge. Yeah, these these levels. Uh, the main punishment for like missing jumps and such is not really uh, like you know dying most of the time. But it's more just the missing like rings and other bonus items that aren't required. As you can see, most of it's pretty linear, but. You have to know when to jump and when to do everything if you want to get the faster times. So that's a big uh, thing with these like speed-based Sonic levels is that you mostly want to just go as fast as possible and take the fastest path, which is usually the hardest path to get to. I don't think there's ever a time when it's not that, when that's not the case. Oh god! Wow! Jump right over that item. You got an item. Uh, rings, of course, help you get more of your boost gauge, so you want to get those. Oh, completely ignored that. Uh, that uh, boost thing. Yeah, I, I love the thing I love about these speed levels is how much like freedom the different controls give you. You know, you get the the drift and the the quick. What's what's it called? I think that's a faster, faster path over there. I think that the the drift and the slide and the, the quick step. Yeah, we just like kind of move to the right. Those are good for the more straightaway areas. One other move I can't think of right now that I'm trying to remember. There's also things like the ring dash from Sonic Adventure games, and there's uh. The stomp, which is very useful. I can't remember these controls. Sometimes it doesn't let you use certain moves, though. That's weird. Boost. Boost is the key to going fast, though. Oh my God, Sonic! Something huge is chasing us. Yeah. So these are kind of like. Oh my. Just, just shut off. Just shut off. Oh my god. This this guy, he just kind of follows us. Uh, oh god. Yeah, you want to hit this guy as many times as possible. I think that makes you get ahead faster. Uh, I don't... I know there's some technique you have to use. Hit him as many times as possible. Extend now. Hopefully we can get to the end. I think we're close to the end. We might get a mess rank. Go! I don't have any boosts. So what's left? Well, just like one straight path. Keep boosting. Yes, oh my god, it's gonna be so close. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Man! The C! C! I've missed it by like three seconds. Meh. Yeah. It's not amazingly hard to get S ranks, even on some of the harder levels. Probably only have to play it like three or four times, but you will have to learn the shortcuts and the ins and outs of every level. Oh God, secret document! I do not care for this stuff at all, honestly. Not worth it. I guess I'd like to continue playing for 
ridiculous question is that? And we're just gonna stop 11 minutes into this video. And... So now we have a few side missions that we have to do. Black magic rings. Uh, yeah, it's just, it these basically just puts you in a little section of level you have to complete a little side quest. Kind of like, uh, this reminds me of something, I can't think of what, though. Um, kind of like pretty much every other Sonic game, I guess. Uh, I guess I could compare it to, like, event matches, Smash Bros. I know there's something way more distinct this reminds me of, but I can't think of it. Uh, these ones, they don't have ranks, so... It's a little boring, honestly, these side missions. I wish you kind of had to, like, get these as... Get different ranks and stuff. I, I think I would have made it a little more... Uh... Yeah. My screen is blacking out, so... I'm gonna reset that. Look at that, well, let's cut this going on. Hmm... Still no luck finding anyone who knows me. Don't worry about it. Maybe your memory will come back on its own. Remember anything yet? Mm, nope. Oh well. Monster guy is back. Uh, uh, so when the sun goes down, I turn into this. Are you okay, Sonic? I'm fine. I just need to be careful who sees me like this. Sonic, Sonic, look. What is it? Oh, it's hopeless! <laughs> the whole planet is split apart! We're doomed! <laughs> mister? Oh. Hey, mister! <laughs> hey, don't cry! Uh, ice cream! How about some more of this super tasty stuff? What good is ice cream at a time like this? Mm. <laughs> 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 Whoops! <laughs> Sonic, your arm just stretched. Weird. <laughs> but it could be useful. <laughs> so this is another thing that kind of is more expanded upon in the... the... Uh, 360 and PS3 versions. I have actually played those versions, but in those versions I know that um, that there are like in the overworld there are some people with like that like purple smoke stuff above their head and they act weird. I think yeah, I, you have to do something with them. You, I think you might have to just talk to them, or you have to do some side quest thing, or you have to beat some monsters or something, and then you uh, like free them, and then they give you like sun medals or something. Yeah. Hey, get this! The ice cream man has been acting really weird! Whoa, speaking of weird, what the heck happened to you? What did you go- or, or what did you do to yourself? I don't know what we're doing talking to these people again. Really what I'm doing. Hey, Pilgrim, what's the matter? You alright? Why is everyone calling us Pilgrims? You look shorter and stouter than before. Did you eat something funny? No, just ice cream. Really, why are we talking to these people again? No one's here. What, what is the point of that thing? Gah! Windmill, Coke Street, Mr. Freak Guy. Oh, I don't believe we've met. What are you doing out this late? We met this afternoon. I think I remember a blue hedgehog. Someone who looked like me directed you to the Holy Shrine. I was just talking about how many usual gifts. How unusual gifts. Eric said he even gave directions today to a yellow fox. Ah, well, uh, yellow fox. That's interesting. After Apatos's tremor, tourism's decline and nights are dangerous. Reports ghosts have not been uh, verified, but you be careful, son. So now 
we go to Cafe Terrace? Well, as you two make a big impression. I'd know you anywhere. What do I mean? Well, I had some strange me stranger ask me a favor. And since he was the old fox, I figured you knew each other. That's quite all anthropomorphic creatures know each other? Being racist? What? Eric? You guy? Random NPC dude? You're racist against all animals. You told me if I saw a blue hedgehog, I'd give it a spin. His description was a bit different, but you gotta be the one he picked. So all blue hedgehog is the same, huh? You know, we're all friends with Mr. Yellow Fox? Is that it? What? Is that it, Eric? Is that it? So anyway, to the sacred shrine. It's coming caught. <coughs> so, well, we're Sonic inside the uh, shrine. Which is really kind of backwards, because literally in every other shrine, you're Werewolf Sonic, or Werehog, or whatever. I don't think they ever actually named it, but huh? Werehog is hey, pretty much the official nice name. Oh, hey, you're back to Nice Guy Sonic again! Uh, oh, wait, he's, he's saying this, I can't hear him because the audio's dead. Yeah, literally every other shrine, you're Werewolf Sonic, and just in this shrine specifically, you're regular Sonic for some reason. That door's closed. Oh, door. Let's open it! I don't care, Chip! Alright, so let's head into the moon door. That changes into... Oh, you look a little scary. Yeah. Oh, God. Bride of the Blue and Smash and Things. Yeah, but where the where Hog gets his own levels, of course. The whole night and day thing. Get the hang of jumping, where Hog form. Get the where Hog. If you press uh, the beep. Werehog is... I, I, def, I, I don't dislike the Werehog. Yeah. Play the game. I don't dislike the Werehog at all. I think it's actually pretty fun. It gets, it's a little tedious at times. I may encourage you to play short, shorter sessions of it. But it's still it's still a fun idea. You'll see it with through these tutorials that it's not bad. But the big problem with the Werehog is that there is... A ridiculous about more werehog levels in gameplay time than there was there is regular hedgehog levels, which is really frustrating because I love the hedgehog levels, but the werehog ones are just like significantly worse. Even though I mean I said they're still fun and I enjoy them. But the hedgehog ones are so good and these are not good. They're not as good. I was supposed to listen to Chip. No! No, what do I press? No. No. Button. Grapple thing. R. There we go. Yep. I feel like you. Wolf has more like precise platforming stuff with like grappling. And as you can see, if you saw, he had like all these crazy, like punching moves and stuff. You can so, okay. and you might be able to tell that he is very combat based. The grabbing does become very fun at some times. Get into fighting a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's the main problem with this game. Honestly, if it was more Hedgehog and less Werehog, it would definitely be fun. But they just made... Did people, like, did he... It, it, it honestly seems like Sonic Team just, like, wanted this game to be panned by people. Because it's like, you know, this the, like, people want Sonic going fast and being all cool and stuff. But no, you spend, like, a fifth, probably less than a fifth of the game playing Hedgehog levels. Because not only is there, like, three times as much... I'm pretty sure there's every, uh... Okay, I'm turning off the volume. I'm turning off the volume for that. Um... 
game mode right now. No other audio, so it's really disorienting. Like, yeah, anyway, like said, for each town, there's at least three Werehog Devils. It sometimes goes up to like five. And. Yeah, and there's only one. Like, yeah, there's only one Hedgehog Devil, and they're also, the Werehog Devils are also really long. At first, they're like five, six minutes. Later, they're, they're like. like ten minutes at least. Not correctly incorporated. Not balanced at all. Yeah, anyway, uh, anyway, from the enemies you kill, you get experience, and you can uh, eventually learn new moves and such combos. Grab a throat, explore, and fight better. Yeah. Yeah, I can grab things. Ooh, I'm in here. Yeah, I need to throw. Beat you right. Bam! Yeah, just toss that thing at him. Bam! Oh. Bam! Guy's not dying. Yeah, boxes are not an act, they're not a good way of fighting people. Like a one time thing. How many are there? I don't want to throw boxes. Who keeps all these freaking boxes lying around? Get it. Get it. How do I have to. Yeah, I have to go. Oh, shoot! Time limit. Whoa. You collected a sun medal! More experience points. There, we'll get a uh, new food. Um, how many more tutorials? Is that the last tutorial level? Or are there more? Okay. A lot more. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. Uh, where Chip doesn't shut up and he keeps telling me things that I already know and are just annoying and... Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Later.